Hi everyone. Let us discuss Green's theorem. See Green's theorem already we have seen in our previous video, but that was only for rectangular region. So this uh, Green's theorem is for any region in a plane. Okay, R two. See here what we have. We have a closed curve gamma. It's a simple closed curve. Okay, it does not intersect itself other than its endpoints. Okay, some region D. is bounded or enclosed by this closed curve gamma gamma is in anti clockwise direction so obviously d will lies in a left side of gamma right vector field f okay as you can see here vector field f is defined on this region d f is from d to r2 so obviously it will have two components first one is f1 second one is f2 so green's theorem says line integral of f over gamma that means we are finding line integral of f over this closed curve gamma that is equal to value of double integration over this region d which is enclosed by gamma and that inside it we have delta f2 by delta x derivative of second component of f with respect to x minus derivative of first component of f with respect to y dx dy okay so yes both have the same value line integral of f over gamma is equal to value of that double integration so it's very important theorem it has many applications also so using the green's theorem we can find area of that any region okay so let us see how to find area make a screenshot of it first then we will go further so let us see here what we have so now we are going to discuss how to find area using green's theorem so we have some set u which is subset of r2 and we have some simply connected region d so obviously that region d will have some boundary so we'll denote it by delta bar d okay so we have this function actually we have defined this function okay so f of xy is equal to minus uh, y by 2 comma x by 2 so this is a vector field we have right clearly it is continuously differentiable so green's theorem says whatever the vector field we have it should be continuously differentiable and then this f satisfies that condition so that's why we can apply green's theorem so therefore by green's theorem tell me what can we write by green's theorem line integral of f over boundary of d that is equal to double integration over d what we write after that delta f2 by delta x minus delta f1 by delta y dx dy okay so let us find what is f2 what is f1 this is our f1 minus y by 2 and this is our f2 x by 2 so let us find derivative of f2 with respect to x 1 by 2 is constant derivative of x is 1 so we'll have 1 by 2 right minus derivative of f1 this is our f1 we have to find its derivative with respect to y minus 1 by 2 is constant derivative of y is 1 so that's why derivative will be minus 1 by 2 but see already we have minus so minus minus plus 1 by 2 after that i should write dx dy so this is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 1 obviously so that's why we'll have double integration over d dx dy okay so which is equal to so you know that when you have a double integration without having any function that means function is one only so that represents the area of that region d okay since there is no any function we have already seen this is a formula of calculating area so this is nothing but area of region d okay area of region d so that means using this line integral also we can find area of any region okay so that line integral we calculate over the boundary of that region so in this way green's theorem says we can find area of d okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye